Good morning, dear students. Welcome to Fifth Standard Science Online Class. Students, now look at this picture. What is this? This is a brain. Good. Students, the brain is one of the internal organ because it is located inside the body. It controls all the functions of our body. It is a main organ of nervous system. Okay students, today we are going to study about the nervous system. The nervous system is the one of the organ system. What is an organ system? Organ system is a group of organs that work together to perform the specific function. So nervous system is the one of the organ system. Because the nervous system consists of brain, spinal cord and nerves. So so many organs are work together here and perform the function of sending the information to all the parts of our body. So students, the nervous system is a one of a organ system because it consists of so many organs. Next to the nervous system is divided into two parts, central nervous system. The central nervous system is shortly denoted as CNS. And next one is peripheral nervous system. It's shortly denoted as PNS. So the nervous system is divided into two parts. Okay students, the nervous system is consist of so many nerves and the nervous system is divided into two areas, central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. First let's learn about the central nervous system. The central nervous system consists of brain, spinal cord and nerves. So what are the parts are there in the central nervous system? Brain, spinal cord and many nerves so students the central nervous system consists of brain spinal cord and nerves students now let's learn about these one by one the first one is brain students we use our brain to think read and write okay students the brain is a main part of the central nervous system the brain is covered by three membranes. Brain means like a layer of skin. So it's called as a meninges. So the brain is covered by the layer of skin is called as meninges. So students our brain is covered by the three layer. The layer is called as meninges. The three layers are dura mater, arachnoid membrane and biomatter. So these layers protect the brain from getting shock. The duromatter is the outer layer, arachnoid is the middle layer and biomatter is the inner layer of the meninges. So what is the use of meninges? The meninges protect the brain from the shock. So students, the brain is covered by the three layers. Students, our human brain is kept inside the bone box in the head region. The bone box is called as a skull. The skull protects the brain from the head injuries. Our human brain is made up of millions of nerves. The nerves are called as a neurons. Students, the human brain is divided into three major parts. They are forebrain, midbrain and hindbrains. So what are the three parts of the human brain? Forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. This area is called as a forebrain. And this area is called as a midbrain. And this area is a hindbrain. The largest part of the brain is called as a forebrain. So this area is called as a forebrain. The forebrain is called as a cerebrum. Okay, the forebrain is the largest part of the brain. It covers large area of the brain. Next, it is the center of human memory. All our memory is stored in the forebrain only. Next, it is responsible for our intelligent, imagination power and reasoning power. So, this area only is responsible for the intelligent, imagination and for reasoning. So, this area is a forebrain. The forebrain is the largest part of the brain. 
it is called as a center of memory okay then it is responsible for our intelligent imagination and for reasoning power next the middle part of the brain is called as mid brain it consists of cerebellum means small brain the mid brain lies behind the cerebrum means it is located behind the cerebrum students the main function of mid brain is it coordinates the movements of the muscles of the body it means all the muscles work together with the help of the mid brain only so the coordination of the movement of muscles are under the control of mid brain only next it regulates vision means ability to see and hearing capacity sleep maintain body temperature so it maintain the vision hearing sleep and body temperature so these are the function of mid brain so students the mid brain is located behind the for brain students the main function of the mid brain is it regulates the vision hearing and sleeping ability and also maintain the body temperature of our body the next part of the brain is hind brain hind brain consists of pons and medulla oblongata hind brain is called as a brain stem because it looks like a stem so it is called as a brain stem students the hind brain connect the brain with a spinal cord this is a spinal cord so the hind brain connect the brain with the spinal cord spinal cord is a long tube like structure extend from the brain and it is there with the backbone of our body hind brain control heartbeat and breathing rate so these are the three parts of brain so the brain is divided into fore brain mid brain and hind brain students the next one is peripheral nervous system the peripheral nervous system consists of many nerves that extends from the spinal cord to all the parts of our body students the peripheral nervous system is made up of two parts autonomic nervous system and somatic nervous system the somatic nervous system nerves carries the sensation from the organs to the brain and again take the messages from the brain to the organs for the function so the somatic nervous system send the information to the brain and receive the information from the brain okay next to autonomic nervous system controls the nerves that are present in the inner organs of our body so students the nervous system is divided into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system in these nervous systems many organs work together to perform the function of sending the information to the brain and receiving the information from brain so these organs form a nervous system so nervous system is a one of a organ system